Hi, this is Toby Burrow, technical advisor with Kingdom, bringing you another Kingdom Did You Know, a series where we bring you functionality and workflows from Kingdom you may not have been aware of. Leonardo da Vinci once said that details make perfection, and perfection is not a detail. I really like this quote for a couple reasons. Uh, One, I believe it's just a really good reminder in our day-to-day life, how busy we've become, that that attention to detail really will make a difference in our understanding of processes or whatever it is that's in front of us at that moment. And that that perfection, it's, it's just not a detail, and we need to take it serious. Well, anyone who has ever studied the subsurface, studied geology or the geosciences, we all know that that detail really does play a key factor in how we understand what went on in the past. So to bring this into a little bit more context, Dr. Barrett Summers said that the familiarity and understanding and purpose of oil and gas well logs and petrophysical data is essential for almost every industry group, from geologists and engineers to attorneys and accountants. Understanding our well logs really does pull out that detail that we need to understand what went on and and what do we have down there. Well, Kingdom has a petrophysical module known as Kingdom Petrophysics. Kingdom Petrophysics allows us to dive into those details, pull out our understanding of what kind of fluids are in in our reservoir, how much pore space, How much volume of clay do we have? How much reservoir or pay are we dealing with? Kingdom Petrophysics allows for this understanding in a quick and easy way. So let's take a look at how to leverage Kingdom Petrophysics in our understanding of our geology. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to want to do is open up your Kingdom project that contains all of the well information, log information, that you're gonna wanna use in calculations. The next step is to identify a well and or wells that contain all the log data to run calculations over. This can be done uh, several different ways. Uh, First is using your own knowledge of your data and identify a well on your base map that you think would be a good candidate to run calculations over. Find that well on your base map, select it, right click, and in the right click menu, you will find there is an option for Kingdom Petrophysics. Select that option and it will send over your well into your Petrophysics module. To send a batch of wells over into Kingdom Petrophysics to work on, there is a couple ways to do this as well. One is to use our query tool and generate a uh, well subset. Now, the query is really great because we can identify uh, very quickly wells that have maybe triple combo uh, set of curves. They contain the formation tops and interpretations that we're going to want to run that analysis over. So if we have a subset of wells, right-click that subset, and you will find that there is also a Kingdom Petrophysics option under here Uh, to send over that batch of wells into Kingdom Petrophysics. Another way to send a batch set of wells in uh, 2020 into Kingdom Petrophysics is to use a cross-section. So open up a cross-section of wells. This is a great step in order to analyze the, the curves that maybe the wells contain, Is it the curves that you want? Is there something with this well that is a particular interest in running calculations over? But in 2020, Kingdom 2020, we're able to send all the wells in a cross-section into Kingdom Petrophysics by just right-clicking anywhere in your cross-section and finding the Kingdom Petrophysics menu item. Select that, and it will send over all the wells from this cross-section into Kingdom Petrophysics. Now that you've loaded up the wells over into Kingdom Petrophysics, the first thing you might want to start doing is using the tools of Kingdom Petrophysics to QC the well information, or I should say the log information associated with the wells that you sent over. A couple of the ones that uh, we enjoy using in-house is generating spreadsheets of curves. 
And spreadsheets are really nice. We get a sense of the actual value at depth. We can view as many in a spreadsheet as we want to, get a quick preview of those curves over on the right-hand side, and we can even edit these uh, values in the spreadsheet if we so choose to do that. Another QC option in Kingdom Petrophysics is the use of log plotting. Now, log plotting in Kingdom Petrophysics is really nice. It's really quick to add curves, uh, zoom into areas. Uh, there's a lot of dragging and dropping, putting in uh, mirror curves, uh, changing the, the look and feel, and, and, and really digging down into that, that well's data. Uh, to add curves into a log plot is really simple. Find the curve that you want, left click and just drag and drop it into any one of these tracks that you want. It will read the left and right scale, add the coloration that you've set for that curve, so then you can look at that in track. But if you need to change anything, click on the header here, here at the top and change any of the colorations or left scales, add shading, whatever it is that you want to do to look at that data. Other QC options in Kingdom Petrophysics are simple uh, cross plots, histograms, ternary plots. All of these are available to, to you in this tool to start pulling out the information that you want to see. After QCing your data, maybe your next step is to edit the log data that you're seeing. Maybe there's something that you need to do to it, uh, splice some different gamma ray runs together, um, interactively edit a curve, uh, depth shift this curve. Maybe we want to fill in some data gaps if we have some missing um, data between points or maybe running a really quick curve D spike over our uh, density curve to, to bring in that data in, in case it's not uh, accurately depicting our, our, our lithology in depth. All of these editing tools are available to you to run on your curve data within Kingdom Petrophysics. After running editing, the next step is to generate some interpretation uh, curves on the uh, edited uh, data. One option that we have in here is to run log analysis. So let's, let's see how log analysis runs in Kingdom Petrophysics. When you first open the log analysis tool, the initial tab that you are shown is going to be your input curves and your output curves from this workflow. On the left hand side is what log analysis is going to need for input. By default, it wants a, a density curve, sonic, neutron, resistivity, gamma ray. And what we will output from the, uh, the analysis is going to be basically a, a porosity curve, a water saturation, volume of clay, bulk volume water. If we input some of these optional curves down here, so like TOC, we can do some corrections. Uh, we can correct gamma ray, density, neutron, sonic, all based off of a TOC interpretation. But the, the main outputs are going to be porosity, saturation, V-clay. Click to parameters, and this is where we can set different methodologies on those calculations. For an example, we're going to look at the clay volume methodology. And one thing you'll notice is that we have uh, various zones in here. The power of Kingdom Petrophysics is the ability to read in your Kingdom interpretations to create these quick zones. These zones are all independent of one another in this, uh, in this interpretation. What I mean by that is I can come in here and select different methodologies per zone. So let's say you don't want to use gamma to calculate V-clay for this formation. You can switch this to, let's say, neutron over density, or you want to take the, the minimum value between gamma ray and neutron over density methodology. All of these can be independently selected and uh, for each zone. But we're going to keep gamma as the default methodology to, uh, to calculate clay. But the idea is to step through each one of these tabs, set your different methodologies, set any of these cutoffs if you happen to know them at this point. But what we'll do is select to run, which will calculate all of these output curves using the input methodologies that we gave it. And let's make a plot. The plot that you are shown here is an interactive interpretation plot. Uh, to come in and start refining the cutoffs and uh, values that we were using to uh, create like that V-clay curve or the porosity curve. And you'll notice that it is listed out all the zones that we used in the input uh, 
of log analysis. And what we're able to do in here is come in and grab these bars that we see in the gamma ray track, and we can independently update each one of the formations, uh, the cutoffs to calculate clay. You can see as we're moving the uh, clean and clay cutoffs, my V clay curve over here on the right hand side will update as we drop this, this bar. We can do this in log plot, or we can even open up a histogram of that curve, and we are showing the same cutoff lines for clay and clean that we will drag and drop based on what we're going to interpret on that curve to recalculate clay. Another option of um, interpretation is to open up a picket plot if we're using our, our Archie methodology to calculate water. So under the resistivity uh, uh, track in here, we can find a resistivity versus porosity cross plot. If we open up that cross plot, we'll notice that there's uh, some interactive bars in this cross plot here. And what we can do is interpret where our 100% water saturation line should be. And as we drag and drop that bar, we'll notice in our background that our water saturation curve will update depending on where we drop that 100% line at. After we are satisfied with our interpretation, we've QC'd our results, we think that we've calculated porosity correctly, V-clay correctly, uh, our water correctly, what we will need to do is save this information back over into Kingdom. Now there's a couple of ways to do this. If we ran a single well, what we can do is we can save that current well, which will save all your information that we just calculated, maybe that we edited, any new information that we have done in Kingdom Petrophysics, it's going to save that back over into Kingdom. So save that current well, which will save this, this information back into our, our Kingdom uh, database. Once that data has been successfully saved back over into Kingdom, all the wells and the new log information is, is available for us to use. We can add the new curves that we calculated from, from petrophysics into our cross sections, dig down really into this detail analysis that we just calculated out of petrophysics to find areas of, of potential interest for us to now target.